Hello and welcome to this painting tutorial video. Today I will explain to you my techniques and recipe for painting the blue armor for one of my Shovel Knight board game miniature. I start with the base color, Star Blue, and my round dry brush. The technique I use to apply this color is mainly stippling. Unlike dry brushing, where we wipe the excess paint off the brush until only a little remains, stippling is performed with a larger amount of paint still on the brush. Instead of wiping the paint onto our hand or on a towel, we apply it directly to the model where the light hits the arm. As you apply the paint, less and less remains on the brush, and you can apply it towards the shadows, dragging the brush towards the light. It's important to keep the brush slightly damp by dabbing it onto a damp sponge or towel. In this way, the paint is diluted and you can already achieve a good gradation of color from shadow to light. If you want to add realism to your metallic effect, once you've determined the direct light sources on each part of the armor, you can work on the secondary light sources, meaning the places where the light reflects off other objects, such as the floor, the ground, or another piece of armor. The color is therefore less intense because the light is indirect. As a second color, I use Duquette Blue. I first work in areas of direct light. I concentrate in smaller, paler areas where the light hits. I don't try to dilute the color right away, I want to establish a general outline first. As with the previous color, the direction of the brush moves from the darker areas to where I went greater light intensity. The gradation will take care of itself as I rewet the brush by dabbing it on the damp sponge or towel and the paint dilutes. It gradually takes on the consistency of a glaze that blends into the star blue. The diluted color is perfect for areas of secondary or indirect light, as it is less pronounced. With a fine brush, I work on the centers of light to make them more concentrated. This includes the edges of armor where light hits directly, such as the visor, fingers or torso.
With Deep Sky Blue now, I continue to develop direct light concentration. This time, I only use my size 2 fine brush, as this is refinement work. I do the same with snow blue, adding focus to the light. If you're looking for a more matte effect for your armor, you can stop at the previous steps at the point where it suits you. And finally, to add shine and contrast to the armor, I use white on a few small points of direct light. The stronger the contrast, the cleaner and glossier the armor looks. If you want to improve the gradation of your armor, you can proceed to the next step. This involves returning to the first color, star blue, diluting it to a glaze, then applying it from the intermediate color zones to the shadow zones. The glaze, as you can see, has a translucent texture, without being as liquid as a wash. As consistency varies from the type of paint to another, I suggest you simply add a little water, test the consistency of your on your hand, and continue until it suits you. With Snow Blue, I repeat the previous glazing step, but start from the intermediate zone towards the point of light. I return to white for a final focus of light. and I finish with black to make fine shadow lines in the hollows where I may have overflowed with star blue earlier.
Note that you can play around with these glazes for as long as you'd like to achieve the gradation that suits you. In my case, the total painting process for this armor took about an hour. For some display or composition pieces, pro painter might spend hours on a single piece of armor. If you're comfortable with airbrushing, you can also use it to achieve a nice gradation of color quickly. This video is intended to show you how to achieve this result with brushes only. I hope you enjoyed my explanations. I invite you to send me your comments and ideas for future tutorials. Thank you for liking this video. Subscribe to my channel to support my work and help me produce more content to help you back with your projects. Enjoy!